everyone, I'm Michael Kuluba, how are you? So the lighting is a little bit crazy right now. The sun is just doing some things with some clouds. I'm sure this little wrapping thing will go away pretty fast. I'm trying to find like a right setting. I keep trying to find it. I'm gonna find it. But you know, this vlog that I'm starting, hello, I'm starting a vlog. I am doing this raw. This will be different every time. You don't know where I'll be. You don't know what kind of setting I might be in. So I'm not gonna worry about all the lighting, all those circle lights, all those little nice little gadgets that you can have to enhance the lighting. I want this to be really more about my life and what I'm going through and what else, what else can I let you guys know about and what can we talk about. Um, I really kind of hesitated on doing a vlog in the first place just in because I've done so much television and I didn't know if I wanted to let people have this much access into my life uh, without me really having control over it. So this is the first time I'm going to be letting you all really sit inside what I do, what's my day-to-day, -day, what's going on, this will probably be one of my biggest outlets. There's going to be some exciting things coming along here in this, well, this upcoming fall. I can't believe it's already here. I'm in the middle of summer right now. But this fall, we're launching some really cool things. And I'm really excited. So this is why I really want to start a vlog and really get into this vlogging experience. There's some really amazing YouTubers out there that I'm following, you know. And I know you guys know I have because you guys follow me back. And that's really inspired me to really kind of figure out what I wanted to do with my vlog how I wanted to set up, and with my team, what I wanted to do with having them involved or really not involved. And so what we came down to is I want to make this authentic. I want this to be, you see what you get, you know. Um, I'm pretty straightforward with stuff, so if stuff comes up, it's a little harsh. I'm sorry that how it goes. Um, but I do want to show you, like, little cool things into my life. Like, I have a really fun life. We travel a lot, my partner and I, and we're able to have really amazing time in some of the places I want to share them with you. And then also on top of it with me in a fashion designer, I have access to so much and I want you guys to see what I get to see. And I think that a lot of people really wish they'd see their fashion designers behind the scenes, but not edited all the time from, you know, a phone call happening and then they cut the camera and you don't get to hear the phone call or, you're, you know, you're watching and then they, they cut, they shoot down to the feet and they're like, what just happened? So now this is going to be really authentic. If there's a phone call that rings, I'll be answering it. If the dog starts barking, which I have, his name is Cooper. He's a miniature English bulldog, and you'll love him. He'll be on the vlog course. Um, right now he's sleeping in my bedroom, so I'm not gonna wake him. Everything's gonna be very organic. So if he comes in, comes in. If, um, if I want to do a vlog, a vlog about him, he will, you know, be here. But I'm not gonna, you know, call his name right now and make him come in. You know, be a circus animal. He's not. He's my little, my little fur baby. So uh, Cooper is eight years old. I've had him since he's eight weeks old. He's a very rare type of dog. Um, miniature English bulldogs are not easy to come by. And I absolutely love him, so I'm so excited to share him with you. I also have a huge shopping problem. Oh, and the sun comes out. See, this is what I'm talking about raw footage. It's because you think things like this that would, you would have to pay for. This is amazing. Look at this. They're shining the light on me to tell me that I do have a good shopping problem. I do. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I do wear a lot of bangles. I actually wear Hermes. H's or the clacks might have heard of, and I do wear them every day. I stack them, I wear one, I wear always one at least every day. I don't know why, I've really just enjoyed them. I love the color, the pop, and being a fashion designer, it just gives you that little something that you can wear all the time and not really, you know, not have to dress up. It dresses you up, and I love that. It's just a little accessory, and I'm into accessories. If you are my friends and you're watching this, you'll totally know. And if you're not, you're going to know from these videos how much of an accessory. I think I guess I'm an accessory addict. I am. I am an Hermes addict particularly, but I am an accessory addict all over. The Hermes part comes in because I stopped really buying anything else because of getting bored. And with Hermes, you get this really cool exclusivity. Everything's handmade. It's like art. It's fashion, but it's art. It's all handmade in, in Paris and throughout France and I just really feel the qualities there, the craftsmanship and the exclusivity you can't get all this air at all times. So when you find something and I travel a lot, which I do, I like to stop at every air as I can and see if something special, special color, a uh, special color way, um, in bag and bracelet, anything. So I do have a collection of Birkins, which I'll be showing you on this channel. I know everyone's a dime to see Birkins. So I do have some unicorn Birkins, which I call them, which is super rare. They are discontinued. You cannot buy them. However, I do own them. I have been collected for a lot of years. And um, I actually have a very extensive back collection, and I will be showing them periodically. This isn't going to be about me showing off my collections. I do am an enthusiast. I really do enjoy accessories and shopping and finding what's new and what's happening there. And with other brands like Chanel, I love Chanel. I mean, who doesn't love Carl? Uncle Carl. I love Uncle Carl. So I think people really need to see this other side of me, and I think it's going to be really fun to explore it on the channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe now. I think there's that little button down there. Wait, right there. 
that you can subscribe now. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything the same. At Michael Kaluba. You really can't mess up. And if you can't find it, you always can search it at Google. Uh, but yeah, definitely try to subscribe to me. I'm going to be having a brand new website come out. And I'm really excited. I will tell you details about that on another posting. Um, we're just in the phases of rebuilding it out right now. And I don't want to give away too much because it is really cool. And we haven't done anything like this before. But I think this will be something that I think you guys all really enjoy. And really kind of really get something out of it that you'll be able to take away with you and either use it in your daily life or even in the future. And I just think that if you can take away from something off of one experience every time, mission accomplished, right? Live and learn. So one more thing I want you guys to know about which I will be exploring on this channel and you know these these posts will be titled so that you will know if you don't really want to watch that. You know you don't have to. But I do have rheumatoid arthritis and this has been going on for a long time. I was diagnosed when I tired for figure skating and I was actually going to the Fashion Design Institute of Merchandising uh, in LA and, um, and it was just a shock, a shock and I really kept it under the radar for so many years because of the stigma that comes along with it and now that I'm in a place where I don't feel that I need to say X, Y, and Z and be afraid of what's going to be the consequences. I feel that now that I can speak up and actually have a voice in the community for arthritis. So people that are young, you might be able to see that they are actually in pain and that there are a lot of people my age, younger, older, that I know where we'll have this and you might have it yourself. So this might be something that you might just want to look into if you start feeling some of the symptoms that I'll be going over, you know, on the daily. So um, one exciting thing though right now is that I am on cover of see this arthritis magazine. So, uh, it's been really a really, you know, really, really great way of me coming out with my story. I worked with a really amazing, amazing organization called Creaky Joints. And you can follow them at creakyjoints.org. And we, um, they're a non-profit. And everything is government funded. Do not take outside donations. So everything is about finding a cure for this horrible, horrible disease. And there isn't a cure for it yet. So that's why I'm trying to bring so much awareness. You can't see the disease always like every, you know, you can see that some people are sick with the disease or something. I look great right now, right? You have no idea. So you can't judge a book by its cover at all. So I really want to put that stigma out there that people with arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, you know, or any like psoriatic arthritis, all of them, you can't see it always. And sometimes they're covered up. Um, you know, Kim Kardashian has psoriasis. But you have psoriasis with arthritis. So you have double wear. And you wouldn't be able to see half of it because it's internal. And for the other half, which comes on your skin, you would. So I really want to bring some more awareness. And I think this is going to be a great way to do it. Uh, I will be showing you some other techniques that I do for dieting and for fashion and for, you know, what I do behind the scenes, how I cast my models for New York Fashion Week, how I do a lot of different things, how we set up our entire, you know, get-go of our team. How does this all work? So just kind of stay tuned, and um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'm going to open up my comments. Usually, I don't really like to do that, but we're going to do it this time, and we're going to see what you guys have to say. I'm really interested to see how this all kind of pans out. But, um, yeah, I, I will be making vlogs throughout the week, maybe daily. I'm gonna try to do it as much as I can. Right now, if you guys want to know where I'm at, I am in, I'm not in the U.S. right now, so. Uh, uh. No, I'm actually in Canada right now. Um, for the summer, um, I am in Canada, and I love it, and I've been just enjoying it so much. I've been working a lot with stuff in the U.S., so just even being here in Canada just kind of brings the, like, ease that I need, um, especially to where, where I'm at right now. I'm not gonna say exactly because of my privacy, but I'm just gonna let you guys know that if you guys want some tranquility, I would suggest Canada. Not all at once, all want to people, but maybe put on a bucket list. I really do enjoy it. Um, okay, well, I think that's good for right now. I'm gonna try to keep these videos not too long. I don't want to rant and rave and, you know, you don't want to be bored either. So I am gonna go, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe below, please, please, please. I will, I will try to, you know, vlog as much as I can and try to answer as many questions as I can about the industry. If, and, you know, but if you guys have questions about modeling or if you have questions about how to become a fashion designer or how did I even get into this? Why did I get into this? You'll find out on the blog, but specifically the questions, please ask them. All right. Well, I really enjoyed this. This is a little nerve wracking at first. I wasn't sure how it was going to, you know, really go, but it was kind of simple. Like, I actually enjoyed it. It almost is like a little bit, I know, like therapy. <laughs> I'm joking. And anyway, this will be really, really fun. And thank you again. See you guys later.